Hey there lovelies and welcome to today's 2015 December daily video. We are up to day 21 today and the only way we're going to get all of this in before Thursday is if I do two videos a day now. So be prepared. Hopefully I can. It is crazy here this time of year and we'll see how we go. So hopefully this will be the first of two videos today. Fingers crossed. So jumping into today's layout today uh, day 21 is all about teacher presents well preschool teacher presents anyway because we've already done teacher presents um, my youngest is in preschool uh, next year will be his last year so we still have this year as well and we make lovely handmade presents for our teachers because we have so many with therapists and teachers and all sorts of things so sometimes I'll make um, handmade baubles uh, I make very pretty Christmas baubles um, in this case we made Rocky Road Rocky Road and cookies and what else can't remember now see this is why it's important to journal always have your journaling done <laughs> but yeah so on this in this photo it's Rocky Road we made some Rocky Road um, homemade Rocky Road for all his teachers because who doesn't love chocolate chocolate is yummy Yes, putting my glasses on because, you know, they're sitting there, so I may as well put them on. They're actually doing the same thing right now. They're sitting right in front of me. I don't have them on. But anyway. So I thought I'd do some stamping today. I have all my December daily supplies in my Rascog next to my desk. And all over my desk, as you can see. <laughs> and this stamp was a new one I bought this year, and I thought, well, I may as well use it. And I have my lovely Brilliance Gold um, ink, which I love. I probably should have gold embossed if I really wanted the gold look, but you know, I had it there, I wanted to use it. I do end up um, drawing a border around it in black to make it stand out more. But, you know, like I've been saying for this whole series, once it's done, it's done. It's in the album. So, yeah, get your out, get your photos scrapped. It's very important. If you're anything like me, I have put in my hard drive at data recovery today and I'm terrified I might not get my photos back. And pretty much the photos I have are what's in my album. So it's very important to get those albums finished. Trust me, I know. So I'm lucky that I put all the photos for this um, off my hard drive onto my computer so I can finish this project and I will have this year's, last year's and 2013, sorry, 2015, 14 and 13 all December dailies finished, thank goodness. I don't have the videos unfortunately so I'm hoping they can be recovered but if all else fails and I have nothing I have what's in my album so always very important to um, back up your photos for starters but yeah finish those albums otherwise your photos just sit on your computer and and then what you short out your hard drive by plugging in the wrong cord and you lose them all so yeah but anyway that's my little piece of advice today so all I've done is I'm, I'm really loving these um, Christmas phrase stickers I really need to find some more they're awesome oh maybe we could make some that's an idea anyway off into another little um, world there but yeah so I'm looking for a Christmas tree because I wanted to decorate my journaling card I wanted to make um this is a spread with two three by fours and a four by six and I didn't have a four by six photo so I wanted to do a four by six journaling card because I'm trying to journal more and I wanted to decorate it as well so I had this room I went I went looking for a tree I know I wanted a tree because I wanted to use this present but it was too big I couldn't put that present under that tree it just would have looked weird the, the present was almost twice as like half the size of the tree just really looked funny but the tree looked good so I put the tree down um, get one of my word stickers and I think I put no peeking just to embellish that little bottom down there nice and simple and then I fill in my journaling um, I was wondering how to put the date on I was gonna um, do day 21 with a sticker but I didn't want to embellish any more areas on the card because I like to keep it symmetrical usually <laughs> so I decided instead to use my date stamp and date and um, stamp the date so that's something a little different and on the photo with the um, rocky road in the bags I've just got a, a little circle sticker um, just had like candy stripes on it and just another phrase sticker that said all wrapped up and that's actually I forgot no idea I do it later I put some um, sequins and some bling on that later in actually coming up right about now because we know how much I love my sequence and bling and that's how I finish off all of my layouts that's how I um, add a few little more embellishments with my sequins and my bling that's that's probably something I've carried through on every spread this um, in this album so far so that's pretty fun so that's it for the spread I'm just going to finish off with a few more yes sequins and bling 
and that will be it. Uh, see, as you can see, I've left one photo um, unembellished, but you know, you don't have to embellish every photo. And in my case, you know, I was quite happy with the, the card and the one photo. So I'll see you hopefully later today for another video. If not, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll try and get this album finished by Thursday. So Thursday I can do my first day, although probably Friday. We'll, we'll figure it all out later in the week how we're going to do this year's. So I'll see you soon for the next video in the series. Bye. Yes. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh.